Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And today I'll be showing you how you can add a contact form just like any of these examples that you see here to your Shopify theme in just a couple of minutes. A common complaint that I get as a Shopify developer is that the contact forms that come with the themes look exactly like this one, which isn't ideal. A contact form is an essential element of every website and so they have to look good. But as you can see, the ones that come with the free Shopify themes don't look that flash. So here's how you can add one like this to any Shopify theme free or paid in only a couple of minutes with absolutely no app subscription and without writing any code. To do this, we're using the Shopify app section store. Section store is a component library of over 500 different Shopify sections that plug into any Shopify theme free or paid. Today we'll be looking at the contact form 4 section. If I click into it some more information, you can see that it's a one-time charge of only $9, but this cost is never occurring. So once you've bought the section, you own it forever, and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want. Once I go ahead and purchase the section, it's going to show up here under My Sections. As you can see, the contact form is now showing up in My Sections, and you just add it to your theme in a single click. Now the section's installed into your theme, jump into the theme editor, hit Add Section, search for the contact form, and add it just like a regular Shopify section. As you can see, it adds to the page in just a single click. Here's an example that I created earlier. When customizing these sections, you want to start with the overall section title. Click on this and you'll see these settings on the right hand side. Here is where we customize the settings for the overall layout of the section. Move down these settings to make your overall customizations. As you can see here, we've got a ton of settings and what's particularly great about these sections is there's a setting for both desktop and mobile for a lot of elements so you can customize the view depending on where the customer's viewing from. So right at the top here, we've got the layout for desktop and mobile, where you want the image to be. We've got the gap and then a margin. Moving down, you've got content centering settings if you want them left, right, or in the center. We then have our image, so an image on the left or right hand side, roundness and border thickness. We then have a bunch of styling options for the form for both desktop and mobile. Styling for the title, styling for all of the fields, font family, so you can include a custom font, the one that comes with your theme, etc. And again, styling options for both desktop and mobile. You then have field labels, again the same thing, font styling for desktop and mobile, same thing for the input, so what actually goes into the section. We've got checkbox styling, a success message for when someone successfully submits the form, again with custom fonts, desktop and mobile and centering options. We have customizations for the error message, the submit button, and there's even a ton of settings for the caption, which is the small piece of text that you see down here, so you can tell that these sections really do have a setting for everything, making them super customizable. Right down at the bottom, just like a regular Shopify section, we have the color settings. You can change all of the colors to get this matching just right for your brand or the way that you designed it. Once you've customized the overall theme settings, we want to move down these blocks on the left hand side. Each one of these blocks corresponds to a specific part of the section. So the first one we're going to click on is this one here, Get in Touch. This first section is the title section, so this text right at the top here. Again, we've got a heading, we've got a custom font, and then we've got customization options for both desktop and mobile along with a color. Moving down, we have a subheading section. So again, text for a subheading, custom font, all your styling options and a color option. Next, we get into the actual form field. So as you can see here, this one is currently titled first name. This is the field here. You can customize what it says, if it's required. So if the customer has to put something in here or not, what you want the text to say, if you want it to have a label, you can change it if you want it to be standard text, an email address or a phone number. And we even have this width option. So you can have this 50% wide, 100% wide or anywhere in between. The same thing applies for the rest of these blocks here. So similar thing for last name, email address, go through and customize more with the text that you want, how big you want them to be, if you want placeholder information and a color. The next section we have here is this drop down section. So this can be included or excluded based on how you want your form. But if you need a drop down so the customers can select, for example, one of your products or maybe an option as to how you can help them, you can include this field here and have a bunch of customizable options for them to select. The next box is this menu box. So this is this section here, which has a free text field for the customer to put information into. All of these blocks within the section are customizable. So if you don't need a message, you can just hide it from the theme. Make your customizations for the message. Have a little subtext here, the title for the message section, a label, some placeholder text, like what is my order status? And again, you can change the width and the text type. The final two blocks are an appointment date. If you want the customer to put in a date, this can be anything. It doesn't have to be appointment date. So you might want to have a pickup date, a delivery date, the date that the customer purchased a product, again, with the same customization options. And then finally, we have this checkbox section. This could be sign up to a newsletter, accept some terms and conditions, or anything else. If you don't need the checkbox, again, just hide the section from the theme. Once you've made all your customizations and you're happy with how it's looking, we can go on the theme editor, preview on desktop and mobile, and then hit save. And there we have it. That was just a quick tutorial on how you can make a contact form just like these three examples here and add it to any Shopify theme in only a couple of minutes. 
A section like this is a huge upgrade to the existing contact form and would go great in a lot of themes. Again, to reiterate, this section's a one-time charge of only $9, so once you buy it once, you have it forever. It works in any Shopify theme, free or paid, and it's liquid code just like the rest of your theme, so it's not going to have any page slowdown or slow down the website. If you have any questions about this section in particular or any other section that we create, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app because we release multiple new sections every single week.